Hi Scorpios, how are you today? So what does Scorpios need to know today? So the first aspect, we have the ego. Doesn't sound like Scorpio at all. <laughs> no, joking, joking aside. What's going on is, do we need to hang on to those aspects that no longer are important? Are we collecting too many habits, too many um, things that like guilt, blame, um, self-criticism, self-judging, judging others, and then really having it as a competition for ourselves and going, whoa, what am I doing? These habits can destroy you at the drop of a hat. And they're not real either. It's what we're thinking about ourselves. The Siamese cat here is a very regal cat. You know, they've got that reputation, whether they are or not, you know. However, all these jewels that she's collected, yes, she looks pretty, you're gorgeous. But I'll tell you one thing, when you die, you can't take any of that with you. What you can take is kindness and love and gentleness. That's going to aspire your soul and your spirit to a softer, gentler place to give you, to take you, if you allow it, for true enlightenment and true spirituality. But when we keep hold really tight to what we think we need and what we we desire on, on a negative aspect, that's not going to help us aspiring to the awakening of the age of enlightenment and spirituality to progress our soul journey. So it's important. This is why this card was called the devil. But it's not. It's called the ego and the personality. Because the personality can never be enlightened. It's the soul and the spirit that moves on. But it's the personality that keeps us tied to mundane things that aren't a progress in spirituality. Let's see what else is going on. With the nine of um, spring here. So moving away quickly. If someone's hoodwinked you and, and you fall in it, like codependency, for in, instance, that is a trap in itself. So moving away from these certain traps is perhaps a good idea. Recognise how good and the challenges you've come in your life, but also recognise, wow, I, I've been hurt. Wow, how did I fall in that trap? I'm getting out now aspect okay you've got the prince of autumn here working very hard for your new goals so this is perhaps a more um beneficial aspect of really giving and nurturing the seahorse is a male seahorse and he's the one that gives birth so these new ideas and new ways of going about perhaps would be a great idea to spring forward and move forward and see the direction that you really want to conduct your life right now. Seeing the new vision is important because no matter how old we are, we can always break free from situations that's kept us small. We don't have to fall in these patterns. Oh, well, I've done this for years. Oh, my situation's been like this. I can't change now. Yes, you can. <laughs> right, let's just have a look, Scorpios, um, with the Moonology cards to see what stage you are at. There you go, people. 
I think you really needed that. Expect, what is it? Expect powerful change. Woo. Isn't that great? So, yes, it can be daunting, to be fair. Let me just warn you. If, if, if you're in a situation that has tired you and, and you feel you can't break free, you know, oh, I'm, I'm staying in this terrible barrier situation. Now, better the devil you know than moving on. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, so it is a little bit worrying at times to move on in certain situations. But expect change. Once that change, once you get the courage to actually move forward and to go, oh, I've got to move forward like that jumping deer. I don't know what way I'm going, which is fine. But when the change does come, allow that aspect to just permeate in, in yourself. You know, allow it to happen is, is perhaps a better way to get there. Does that make sense? Oh, I do hope so. <laughs> All right. Lots of love to you guys. See you again.